We are here with UIC head women's golf coach Bubba Blair going to take a look back at last weekend's NKU Fall Classic and look ahead to the Loyal Invitational this coming weekend. Uh, first coach, take us back to NKU. What were some of the positives that you took away from that tournament? You know, I was really happy with the way the girls' attitudes were. Um, they really approached it, you know, with a, with a sense that they had the ability to play, which was great. And so, you know, their attitude towards everything was really good. Um, they hit some bad shots. Nobody really got down. So it was a great way for us to get the year started. Um, you know, for a lot of it, we were, you know, in the top four for a long time on the first day. That's really good for our girls to be able to know that they have that ability. Now it's just going to be working on finishing rounds and being able to, you know, be excited about being in the hunt. We talked after the tournament about breaking the school's 54-hole scoring record. What does it mean to start the season on such a positive note? Uh, well, it's going to be interesting now, right? <laughs> so, um, but, uh, but no, it was great. Uh, it shows that how hard the girls worked over the summer and that it was a collective effort. It wasn't just one player. We, we were very consistent in where we were. Um, Kelly had a round of 73, but everybody was all right there. And, and, and everybody pulled together at certain points of the rounds, and so that really helped. So now going forward, you know, sky's the limit. And the bad thing is, is I feel like we didn't play well yet. There were five Horizon League schools, including UIC, at the NK, NKU Fall Classic. How do you think, uh, how competitive do you think that the conference race will be this season? It's going to be exciting. Uh, that was something that the other coaches and I were talking about, that how competitive the, the, the tournament will be at Mission Inn this year. I don't think there's a clear-cut favorite yet. Um, I don't think anybody's going to separate themselves. And, you know, it's going to push the, the upper-level teams to get better. And, you know, for us, you know, we kind of proved that we're, we're right there. We're, we're a team that we can contend to, to win the Horizon League Championship. Last week we talked about Kelly Sterling and how her strong summer uh, went for her. And obviously it translated for her, as you mentioned, shooting a, a 73 in the second round, finishing tied for sixth overall. How does that performance uh, help boost not only Kelly's confidence, but the rest of her teammates as well? You know, it's really good, especially for Kelly. You know, she was excited. Uh, we are, we're in an hour and a half rain delay and Kelly's just like, let's get out and play. I just want to finish this, you know, because she was in the hunt. She had a chance uh, to win. and. And she, you know, on the last hole, uh, adrenaline got her. It wasn't a bad golf swing. It was adrenaline. And that's a good thing. So it's really exciting. The summer is really carrying over. And you can see it in her teammates, too. They're, you know, they're appreciative of how she's playing. And it's, and it's pulling them along, too. So, you know, that kind of leadership doesn't always necessarily go into um, communication, as in I'm talking to you to play better. Just her play is, is communicating to the other teammates to play better. Finally, uh, this next tournament, you're going to be much closer to home, playing at the Flossmore Country Club in an event hosted by Loyola. What do you expect to see from uh, the next tournament for the Flames? Well, you know, the big thing that we talked about, you know, taking advantage of opportunities, giving ourselves opportunities to play well. Let's not focus on, you know, what we're doing poorly. Let's focus on the opportunities that we have. This is another opportunity for us to, to play well again, to find things that we can do better every day. And so those are the things that I feel for Loyola is a real strong point for us. I mean, take advantage of our opportunities. We're getting closer and closer, and one day all our opportunities are going to come together.